Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel Code Logic. So in this series we are seeing the hospital management system. So uh, this is a project we are building in Angular with the Firebase. So in our previous video we have seen how to register a doctor. Okay. So in this video we are going to see how to get all the doctors and uh, we are going to display it in our page. Okay. You can see here uh, we are using pagination. Also uh, we are going to use here filter to search the doctor. Okay. So yeah, uh, this is what we are going to develop uh, in today's video. So you can see uh, any field you search, uh, the result will be displayed here. Okay, you can even uh, sort it according to the uh, order. Okay, there are uh, options to edit, view, and delete. Okay, so we are going to uh, perform the actions in next videos. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So we have a uh, created project here. So we'll go inside our app shared folder. We have a service data service. So here uh, we are going to write a method to get all doctors. Okay. So we have written the add doctor method. So now we are going to write the get all doctors method. Okay, so here uh, we are going to return it AFS, which is a uh, Angular Firestore's object dot collection. We are fetching the data from doctor dot snapshot changes. Okay, so we can use value changes also, but we want the IDs. That's why we have used snapshot changes here. Okay, we'll now go to the doctor's component inside which doctor component.ts file here uh, we are going to write one method to get all the doctors so we'll write it get all doctors so we have injected the data API of type data service so before that we are going to create one doctors array of type doctor initially it's it will be empty array but on ng on in it we are going to fill that array with actual doctors information so uh, we'll go to your get all doctors method we call the get all doctors method from our data api and we'll subscribe to that uh, we'll get the result okay so on that results we are going to iterate it using map so result dot map element of type any so we are going to create one constant here data and we'll assign the value e dot payload dot doc dot data okay and uh, we are going to assign data dot id equals to e dot payload dot doc dot id and we are going to return this data after that we are going to print the data of all doctors so we are using console dot log here to print the data from the doctors array so uh, we are going to call that method from ng on in it so get all doctors we have called it from here so whenever the components get loaded this method will be called so you can see here we'll go to the doctors and we'll open our developers window here you can see there is an array zero and i think uh, there is some error okay so what we have did is we have printed the console log outside this method so we are going to print it inside the method so now uh, we are going to check it and here also we have uh, added doctor not doctors okay so there was a typo now we'll check okay you can see we have one doctor array okay this is a doctor so now uh, we'll go to our angular material io page here we are going to search for tables and in example you can see a lot of tables okay 
so I am going to choose a particular one with a filter and pagination you can see a data table with sorting paging and filtration so this is a table we are going to use so we'll call see the code and we are going to copy it inside TS you can see there are uh, data sets okay so uh, I'll show you how how we can copy the code and uh, we can paste it in our application so that it will run properly so we have copied the HTML now uh, we'll go to our data doctor component dot HTML file we'll close this row here we are going to add one comment doctors information doctors table and below that we are going to paste our code okay so you can see there are a few errors it is showing because that uh, apply filter method and all these things we are not defined in our typescript file so first I uh, will go to our API section and we'll uh, copy this import model so we copy import statement and we are going to paste it inside our material module.ts file okay so we are going to add it here and we are going to inject that in our import and export array okay we'll close this file now uh, we are going to add these methods okay we'll go to the example we go to our example which we have selected We'll go to the TypeScript file and uh, here uh, you can see there are four lines display column data source and view child so we are going to copy those lines and we are going to paste it here in our doctor component.ts file okay so uh, this will be our doctor type data so mat table data source so we are going to inject all the missing imports now uh, for data source it is showing error so uh, we'll define it as undefined so we are going to add that exclamatory mark there same thing for the salt okay now here you can see uh, in display columns there are four columns so we'll copy these two lines data source dot paginator and sort so these are used to paginate and sort and we are going to paste that lines inside our get all doctors array get all doctors method okay and then uh, for data source we are going to add some value so for data source equal to new table data source and we are going to pass doctor array okay so now a data source contains the doctor array and paginator and sort have initialized now uh, we are going to copy this apply filter method and we'll paste it here in the end of file Now we'll go to our doctor component.html file. So uh, most of the errors have gone now. So now uh, you can see this is a filter and uh, apply filter method is called from here. So we'll change its placeholder to the code logic. So you can see uh, there are columns with the ng container 
and mat column definition is there so we'll change its name to name then uh, heading of that table to name okay so we have the row and for that row we are getting the value of one doctor so that's why we have used a row dot name similarly we'll add for you know, all the columns so next column will be mobile then email okay then the department here uh, you can see we have uh, display columns okay so we have defined this variable array in our typescript file and it's showing some error to the mat pagination so we'll go to the paginator and inside api so we'll copy this and we'll paste it inside our material module.ts file and after that we'll import it inside imports and exports array now you can see the error is gone so these are the columns name mobile email department okay so now uh, we'll go our uh, doctor component.ts file here uh, we are going to define these columns so first its name then mobile then email then the department okay so now i will see it how it looks okay so data is coming up but it is not showing properly so we need to add the css okay so we'll go out to our table inside examples we'll go to our table and we are going to copy the css So this is CSS we have copied it now we are going to paste it inside our doctor component CSS file after that uh, we are going to remove this TD and TH CSS now we'll go to our doctor component HTML file we'll create another column for the gender gender we'll change column def name to gender and inside here we are going to change it to gender and for row we are getting the value as a row dot gender okay so now uh, we'll go to the doctor component.ts file here we have added one more column gender in display columns so you can see here now so there are five columns okay name mobile email department and gender so we have to add one more column here for the action so uh, we'll go to our angular material so you can see here this is the mat with icons so we are going to select that so we copy the code from here and we are going to paste it inside our doctor component.html file before that we have to add one more column to display columns and inside one more column we are going to paste that code okay so first we'll create one more column here with the name action and inside a td tag we are going to paste the code which we have copied to display that action module okay so we have to import the mat menu okay so for that we'll go to the menu section api section we'll copy this line and we'll inject that 
in our material module.ts file. Okay, so we'll copy that, we'll paste it here in both the arrays import as well as export array. Okay, so error is gone now. So, first we'll change its names. So, first name will be Viv, then the second name will be Edit, and the last name will be Delete. okay so we change the icon name so first uh, icon will be open in new the second icon will be edit and third will be delete okay so we'll see the output now we'll refresh our page think there is some error we'll check it display column definition provide gender okay so uh, what we have did is we have not changed the mat column definition so we change it now to action okay so uh, we have the output now so when you click on that icon you will get all the three options so yeah so when you register a new doctor here that doctor will be added to the list we'll select the budget and we'll register it okay you can see here new doctor has been added to our list we can filter data from this filter and there are a uh, number of options number of items per page we can set okay so yeah that's it for the video guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching the video see you in the next video till then bye bye